I do have to say, today is the first time I've ever met a fan in a cemetery. But that guy in that car is not just an ordinary fan. It's Cody Stark of CBS Station in Sacramento. Gonna do a live segment with me. So you're a fan of the channel, huh? I am a fan of the channel. <laughs> this man is a fan of the channel. We're both big fans of the channel. And who is this? This is Sean, my Sean. photog. Sean, how are you? How you doing? Good. Nice to meet you. The funny thing is, we drive together far distances to do these live shots, uh -huh. and we talk about you a lot, Jeff. A lot. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> a lot. Why? I just love the stories, man. You find okay. the best stuff. All right. You find the best stuff. Like, there's a there's a, a plot right there with a gnome on it, for goodness sakes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So these guys right here from CBS Affiliate in Sacramento have got me up early because they're going to feature me on Good Morning Sacramento. It's the morning program, magazine, you know, TV magazine, I think they call it. So he's going to hear, he's here to profile my YouTube channel and uh, hopefully I get some more subscribers out of it. That's why I'm getting up this early in the morning. But my daughter is just embarrassed whenever... Why? I I pull it in the parking lot. Yeah. Out in front of the house, and she's like, You're going to leave that out. People are going to see it. <laughs> How old is she? She's 16. Oh. Cody wants to check out the gnome guy here. He's <laughs> <laughs> a young gnome guy. For bathrooms? Yeah. Rosetti's might be open pretty soon. Where? Rosetti's, you know that? That's right up the street. The oh, store. right up the street, yeah. that's a ways. About five minutes, five minutes, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, a lot of waiting, huh? Oh yeah, hurry up and wait all the time. Yep. Yes, hello. You guys ready for today's dad joke? <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, if you guys are ready, I'm ready. What did the alien say to the what did the alien say to the landscaper? What did the alien say to the landscaper? It said, "Take me to your weeder." Yeah. <laughs> if, if you have a dad joke for us clearly i need help uh send it into us good day at kmaxtv.com a uh, subject line dad joke give me credit for the joke because lord knows i don't want it it's at the youtube called history hunters where one man travels all over california telling stories of uh, a long time ago so cody and his caravan are hanging out in oakdale this morning learning a bit of history hey cody Indeed, indeed, it was a little awkward this morning when Sean and I were telling you how big of fans we are of your show, and you told me you'd never seen my show. Well, you know, that's true. I'm not a morning person. <laughs> it's fine, Jeff. It's fine. I will, I'll get my ego in check. I'll get my ego in check. Let's talk about History Hunters. How long have you been doing this? I started the program and uh, on my channel in 2017, mm -hmm. and uh, I've just always been interested in history. And uh, there was one day in particular, my girlfriend and I, Sarah, we went to the location where Black Bart committed his first and last robberies on Funk Hill outside of Copperopolis. And after I had left there, I thought, you know, I should do my own YouTube channel and show some of these historical pl places that people don't know about. And uh, I really didn't think it was going to go anywhere. I thought it was just going to be my effort, um, you know, just to appease my historical interests. Uh -huh. But then it started snowballing, and currently I have about 130,000 subscribers, which isn't too shabby. Yeah, I know good, yeah. a lot of people have a lot more, but uh, we're getting there. And I uh, primarily do a lot of, I like to do stories that nobody has done. Mm. But there are times when obviously somebody else has done them. Like I'll do a lot of cemetery uh, visits. Not all cemetery visits uh, are in my videos, so I'll do historical locations throughout California, obviously the closer ones to home. Uh, but this one here, do you want me to talk about this one? I think we should. <laughs> Why are we here? We're here to see Kyle Anderson. Kyle Anderson, he was uh, a, getting ready to retire. He was an Oakdale postman. It was the end of the day. It was August 12, 1959. 
uh, getting ready to eat dinner with his wife and his girl. Uh, I'm sorry, his <laughs> his grand grandchildren were there. His daughter was there, and all of a sudden, this. Air Force jet, it was an F-10 Air Force jet. The pilot had bailed because he had hydraulic problems over the Jamestown area. I don't know if it's protocol to bail from your airplane, but here's this airplane. He's flying from uh, Sacramento to a location in Arizona. He decides to turn back, but he has to bail from the aircraft. Uh, so the plane actually ends up careening out of control into Oakdale, and it came in from the west side of Oakdale, hit Mr. Anderson's farm, uh, one of the wheel, uh, the landing gear broke off and shot right into his kitchen, through the kitchen door, and killed him immediately. And poor guy's buried here. His life cut short. He was ready to retire, like I said. No. His wife's buried next to him. Uh, you can see that the wife lived on quite a ways afterwards. So, but I can just imagine the the horror that this woman went through, you know, to yeah. see your husband taken out. And it's not the only airplane or airplane equipment flying out of the sky and killing people stories that you've done in History Hunters? No. In, in 1986, there was an Aeromexico jet that uh, collided with a small plane mm. in Cerritos, California, and then wiped out uh, an entire neighborhood. It was very tragic. And prior to that, in the 70s, late 70s, there was a PSA crash in San, in San Diego. Took out... The entire, you know, everybody on board. I think it was like 120 something souls on board, and then seven or eight people on the ground were killed. But I went to that location. You can't even tell that anything tragic oh, happened really? there at both locations. Yeah, yeah. And so you telling the story yeah. keeps their memory. Yeah. Alive. And one of the things I like to do is take pictures and superimpose them. Mm -hmm. It's very popular on my channel. I will take a picture, try to stand where that person stood 120 what years ago, whatever the pic particular picture is. And I will blend it in with the scene today, and people really enjoy seeing how things change. Yeah. I did one of, of Waterford, California, too, where I took old pictures of the businesses in town, and then I, uh, I superimposed them to today, and they could see how the town had changed. But, yeah, it's, it's been a real popular feature of my channel. It's, it's great. I'm telling you, History Hunters, matter of fact, go to YouTube right now and subscribe. We're watching to see how many people subscribe. <laughs> all right, that's all coming up. We're going to tell you another crazy story about somebody that's buried here. And I'm telling you, Ooh. the story is wild. Wow. It's wild. That's all I'm going to tell you. Okay. It's wild. Okay, I think he has a new fan, though. New viewer right here. Yeah. Thank you, Code. I'm not afraid to admit it. <laughs> Time now, 9-13. Welcome back. Well, one man, uh, one man travels all over California telling stories of long ago and teaching the Internet. Cody and the caravan are hanging out in Oakdale this morning, getting ready for their history lesson. Hey, Cody. We are indeed. Of course, Jeff travels around telling these crazy stories about history all in our area. And, and I'm fascinated by your YouTube channel. Thank you so much. Yeah, I was out here a couple of months doing a story about a victim of a jet plane crash that hit Oakdale in 1959. And caretaker came over here and told me about this crazy story over here he said do you know about this story and I said no so he leads me over here and he tells me about this Brett Clay Staples who died in 2001 who is buried in his limousine he's buried in the back seat apparently positioned in the seat sitting holding wine glasses or something <laughs> and uh, I don't know anything other than that about the fact that he, he died uh, 23 years ago and so he must have known that he was yeah. dying ahead of time but uh, you don't see a lot of stories in California about people being buried in their cars I heard about a guy who was buried on top of his motorcycle before and uh, they actually had him in a glass case wheeling him down the highway and he's sitting on this motorcycle <laughs> dead as a doornail <laughs> <That's crazy. laughs> another gentleman was buried in his car I saw a video of, on, of that particular incident on YouTube but this was complete news to me because I hadn't heard anything about it. Buried in the back of a limo. Yeah. yeah. Just sitting back there chilling. I think that's the way I want to go now. I, I've been thinking a lot about this. Been thinking a lot about this. Uh, yeah, it's <laughs> interesting. It's, uh, it's like, why haven't the local news? Probably because the family didn't want a lot of publicity about it, but... I heard about it, and so I came over here and put it in one of my YouTube channels. This is crazy. Uh, if people want to subscribe to your YouTube channel, and I cannot stress this enough, please subscribe to his YouTube channel. It's fantastic.
Thank you. Yes, uh, we are 130,000 subscribers. And since you've been out here this morning, <laughs> I've had about another 100. So I know that people are watching your program, unlike me. <laughs> <laughs> Again, I get to work early and I don't watch. It's, it's fine, Jeff. It's fine. <laughs> I just been on the show for 19 years. I mean, not a big deal. Not a big deal. <laughs> Oh, oh, that was cool. That was a crazy story. Yeah. All right, uh, back to you guys in the studio. I told you it was nuts. I told you it was nuts. Cody, I think now I would like to be buried in a Honda Accord listening to a podcast. <laughs> 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 oh, he went the way that he loved his life yeah. in a yeah. Honda Accord yeah. listening to podcasts. Listening to a sports podcast. <laughs> uh, thank you, Cody. Appreciate it. <laughs>